I get a lot of questions about this vibrating screening tool and people keep asking how it's made. I've touched on it several times. I try to do quick videos or just little clips in my longer videos. But this video is dedicated to how it's made. So basically I, I got two 2x4s two here. Screw them together with uh, three, inch, 3 inch deck screws. Kind of put them at an angle so you don't poke through. So I've got deck screws down through there. Then I have a third 2x4 on the bottom. I beveled the, uh, the uh, leading and trailing edge on a table saw. And this is so that I get a uh, kind of a packing uh, effect as this drags across the concrete mix it forces it down and, and helps pack it this two before is, atta is attached just with uh, what you call toe nailing just screwing in at an angle several places both sides and then people always say well how did you attach the sander so turn it right side up again so to attach the sander, you have to remove the foam pad that the sand paper, you know, normally sits up against. I drilled holes through the deck from the top side at an angle. Went down that way and that way and that way. I put them offset here so that I would hit the meat of the two before instead of just putting them opposite ends and I would be going in the joint there. So... Yeah, I use the same three-inch deck screws that I assembled the whole thing with and screwed them in through the holes like so. I'm going to get them all three started because I'm trying to get in the holes that I already have there. Okay. So you screw this down. Yee. Just like that. There you go. Now, it will vibrate when you turn it on just enough to cause the whole apparatus to float across the top of the... Uh, concrete mix and that's all there is to it really uh, really helped me out a lot made it uh, super easy to level out and screed down the uh, the mix for the dry pour concrete so hope you found this helpful and uh, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and we'll see you next time on how that works mm -hmm.